Hello YouTube, this is Chris coming back to you again. I'm going to do a quick review on a gun I'm actually trading off tomorrow. Um, I will inform you of what I'm trading it for here in a little while, but I want to say hi first of all to my beautiful daughter Cadence and say thank you for letting us do the review in your bedroom tonight. You're welcome. My mom and dad are in town, so I'm letting them use my bedroom because I just couldn't let them sleep on, on my couch. Um, this is an M1A SOCOM 2. Let's see if we can get some better lighting in here. Just a, maybe it's that bl back black drop on it. That helps a little bit. Just a beautiful firearm. Uh, it's chambered in 308 um, or 762 NATO. I always forget about that. It's made by Springfield Armory. Hold on, guys. Let me see if I can clean off the lens a little bit. There we go. Made by Springfield Armory. This railing system that you see on here is actually a Troy Industry rail. Uh, really nice rail, but one thing that you you uh, get with Troy Industry, as anybody knows, because they're made from billet aluminum, is that you're gonna get a lot of weight with their systems. Um, I bet you this overall gun with the rail and everything weighs 13 to 15 pounds. I mean, it's just a heavy, heavy bleeping gun um it does come with a built-in flash hider right right here man this for some reason my gun my iphone does not want to uh focus but and then i put on this uh mono, front mono grip or foregrip because uh i'm trying to you know help even out the weight of the gun because it's hard holding you know 13 to 15 pounds from this from this part of the gun seems like a really solid gun um, the uh, it is a little hard sometimes to uh, seat the magazine, especially whenever I'm fighting my daughter's pillows. But I mean, it's just a beautiful firearm. The uh, the military uses them for a reason still to this day uh, in certain scenarios. Um, whenever you put on this Troy Industry rail, you have to take off the back sight, which is this is it and you end up having to install a flip up sight. I did put on a little cheap NC Star reflex scope. Um you know, hey, it's uh you know, it 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 would at least allow me to zero in my zero in the rifle. But uh I'm going to take it off. It's more suited towards 223 or 22. Um so I don't want to tear it up. But the gun I'm actually trading this for is an FS2000. Just a beautiful firearm. Um, I can't wait to get it. Now I'm, I'm gonna. As soon as I get it, I will do the review that day on that on that firearm. Um, this gun is worth probably a little over two thousand dollars with the railing system on it. Um, the FS2000 is worth about the same. It's just a really nice firearm. Uh, the only thing I don't like about it is that spacing right here between the pistol grip and the um, the lower receiver uh, but you know I'm picking at straws whenever I'm complaining about that the guy put this one on, actually on there because of ergonomics but the uh, there are pistol grips AR pistol grips actually fit this that would actually come straight down from here and would fit that flush but so what you know like I said you know, I mean, if you're if you're going to be using this gun to shoot long distances your ergonomics actually mean a lot to you so I don't know I just thought I'd put up a quick video of it I'm sorry that the lighting isn't better so I'm actually getting a blurred a blurred vision on this uh on my HD you know on my iPhone HD camera but it doesn't, definitely looks like it's old school standard standard uh <laughs> SD but uh I don't know maybe it's just the lighting but I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I love all you guys, uh, all my subscribers. You guys have been great. Um, let let me know if you you know have any more guns that uh, that you'd like a review done on. That's the reason why we got this one is because I I got a, re a request from a lady who was wanting to do it, hear a review on the M1A. She didn't tell me which one though, so I went ahead and went with the SOCOM 2. Um, I know SOCOM 16s are usually people's favorite of the SOCOM that I hear because it has the I want to say it has the shorter of the barrels 
like I said, I, I'm ignorant towards the M1A, but I'm giving you what I can give you. Um, but I know that SOCOM 16s usually, I guess, are the favorite, but or the super match is also the favorite if you if a person wants to do long distance accurate accurate you know shootings of you know thousand yards or whatnot. But I did hear that this gun is accurate up to about six hundred six to seven hundred yards. So you know, oh well. I mean, if if I need, if I don't hit somebody at six to seven hundred yards, I'll just wait till they get to three hundred yards before for me, and I'm sure I can hit them there. But uh, let me know what you guys think. I really appreciate all my subscribers. I love you guys. Um, you you've been very good to me and. Uh, um, let me know what you guys think. If if there's anything else I can do for you, just please give me an email and I'll see what I can do about uh, locating the firearm and we can get a review on it. Okay, you have a good day and God bless. Bye-bye.